So now in this video, we're going to use a single transistor to flash an LED on and off. I seem to need to use at least 12 volts for a red LED and 13 volts for a blue LED. Now we will uh, zoom in, take a little closer look at it. So we have a 2N3904. The main thing is it's backwards right now and the base is not connected to anything. So normally the emitter is down here towards the negative side and the uh, collector is up here towards the positive side of the power supply. We have it in backwards. Now when you have it in backwards, if the voltage rises enough, then it starts conducting. It breaks down or whatever the uh, proper turn is. But uh, in any case, it breaks down, it starts conducting briefly until the voltage drops enough. And uh, so the capacitor will charge up a bit and then make it conduct. That'll drop the voltage, it'll stop conducting and the capacitor can start charging again. So we're going to use a relatively high value capacitor here, uh, resistor I mean. It's a 4K7, that's the same as 4.7K or 4700. So sometimes it'll be written like that. They put the K there because you might miss a decimal point and just think it's 47 ohms. And uh, so they put a, the K there for kilo ohms instead. But in any case, we got that high value, uh, relatively high value charging the capacitor until the uh, pulse comes down. Now, there's not going to be much voltage change, going to be a quick pulse. We can use a low value resistor, 100 ohms, to protect the LED. And here we are on the board. So there's our 4,700 ohm resistor coming to the capacitor and the back of the uh, transistor here to the emitter. Here is the uh, front right there. We got the emitter, the base in the middle, that's just floating, emitter on top, and the collector down a spot right there. The collector to the 100 ohm resistor and the LED you got to remember to put in the right way. Long lead the anode to the resistor and the short lead the cathode down there. The uh, capacitor is 470 microfarad right there. So we will uh, plug that in. It's polarized. That side has to be more negative. And uh, there we go. So let's uh, back up. Pretty simple circuit. And turn the uh, power on. It's going to take a little bit for the capacitor to charge. And then you're going to see the uh, red LED start flashing. So it took a fair while. Now we're going to uh, take the uh, blue LED and just make it parallel with the uh, red LED really quick. Red LED needs less voltage to flash. That's why the blue LED is not doing anything. Also, we don't have enough voltage for the blue LED, as I said before. But if I go to 13 volts, then we do. And I really like the uh, flash effect of the uh, blue LED right there. And finally, we got the uh, pocket oscilloscope here. I have the alligator clips clipped to those uh, jumpers and then I can just plug them where I want. That's up to where the uh, capacitor and the resistor meet. But there you can see the voltage change. Not much. Each one of these squares is 2 volts. We're up uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and uh, that's 12 up there. So it's getting up to about 12 and down to I guess like 11 and a half or so. But uh, any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other ones I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I have a link down in the description. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. I will see you in the next video.